Down in the creek, he has two little boys. Hi, boys. Hello, hello. Yeah, tie video. Say hello, hello. Good. D D. Okay. Bye bye. Two little kiddies there, and uh, occupying themselves in the creek at the start of a new year. What will it bring for them poor little buggers? God knows. But there you go, as long as they're happy. Now, Saturday, 2nd of January, 2021. And Michael's come over the other side and he's brought one of his sturdy uh, brush cutters with him. He's going to leave his cellar bottle of water down here. While they're concentrate, just trimming a bit of bloody uh, grass. Some of this long uh, straggly stuff gets on my bloody wick. So I'm going to cut it. I don't have to. Some people say, oh, tidy, tidy. But there's a purpose for keeping tidy. So you can see what's in front of your bloody feet, mainly. But and two, it looks nice. It shows you're taking bloody pride and interest in the place. And of course, this is a project. This is what we came to do. And it's very enjoyable doing it. Bobby's over in that top corner. He does like to have a bit look over there to see her about. But he doesn't go breaking out or out like that. He's just inquisitive. But come near the fence like, it might be a different matter like. But he's quite happy just sitting and watching what's going on. What a great dog. Right, better get on. Well, hopefully now you can see what I've been up to for the last few days. And uh, finally got it uh, complete. Well, I finally made my way back over to uh, this side by the pool in Mem's hammock. Keeping an eye on uh, Bobby. He's here, wonder dog. Bye, Job. He went over there with me 
just uh, not too far from us he knows the pearls of the uh, brush cutter well he's aware of them I'm obviously think so uh, so he stands his he stays his distance not stands his ground Michael daft bugger we haven't got the sprinklers on doing a bit of watering You're probably thinking, what's all that greenery? I thought it was cold season. Well, it's actually second crop of rice. But how's that? Well, as you can see there, the river. What they do, they pull the, they pump out the river and irrigate the fields so they can get a second cross. Uh, uh, crop. They're not daft, are they? Today, back to the vets again, and uh, 42 kilos of smart art food, roast beef flavour, and another 10 tins of dog meat. Get in there, they certainly get well looked after, and Mem's instructing me to take you to a part of this top section here to show you something which has been quite a while in the waiting so hi these have got a hold as these uh, dragon fruits but not fruiting yet obviously of course dead time of the year really eggplant which we have a considerable amount of now here we come with the faithful Bobby by my side he's been with me all bloody day over the other side and finally finally here we go a pineapple sprouting now, just stopping on the motorbike on the side of the road here, I just thought I'd show you this. Now, this is just on the outskirts of the village. Now, this is the communications tower. Now, modern technology, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And 20 years ago, when I first came to this village, uh, television aerials were normally on a 20, 20 foot bamboo cane. Telephones, mobiles, well, ma'am had to come out of the village because in the village you could not get a signal. And ma'am was possibly, because she was working, uh, singing and dancing round the country she was possibly the only one who could afford a mobile phone so just shows you and now internet where well, we have 150 uh, megabyte uh, a second speed coming in so and no line rental like in the UK so very reasonable and very good Okay, I just thought it might be of interest. Well, folks, I've come out on the motorbike today and uh, I've come to show you what's very popular, what they grow in Thailand nowadays, which initially 
was started in Malia, south of the Thai border. Uh, and it came up through Thailand and it's now reached the top of Thailand. And besides the old famous rice, the jasmine rice, the sticky rice, and of course sugar cane, which is very popular now, is this stuff. Rubber. So I brought you just outside the village to a rubber plantation. And I thought we'll just have five, ten minutes uh, look around and see what's what. Now, 20 years ago when I first came to Thailand, and uh, I can remember down in the south of Thailand, there was a lot of rubber down there. And what they used to grow in between it, now you can see perfect rows like, uh, they used to grow pineapples. But the problem is you've got to be very careful. And why have you got to be careful? Because in between the pineapples uh, were snakes, lots of them. And it's a bit of a haven is a rubber plantation for snakes. Uh, and initially, you know, we all learn through time and experience and uh, they found that by using a certain liquid, chemical, and it deadened all the uh, grass and, and that in between and didn't affect the rubber trees, that's what they did. Now, obviously, it's uh, cold season and, of course, there's not a lot going on. But you can see here, they are producing and they are cutting. And you can see this here. It is dripping away slowly might go waiting for a bloody drip but as you can see there's the uh, solution in the bottom and of course basically what's that Michael well if you've been on chemical tankers and that you've probably all bloody uh, carried uh, at some stage latex and this is the, uh, there you go, there's the drip. And you can see where they cut the, uh, they cut the, uh, the tree. I'm using my uh, gimbal at the moment because it gives you a much better picture, but it's just getting a bloody angle on it. And a couple of weeks ago, there was a big congregation of people, a bit further up there on the right hand side there was trucks there which had come to purchase the rubber and the people who collected uh, were selling it owners and whatever and he uh well sadly at this point the uh the bloody telephone rang and the uh the recording uh stopped so the rest of it i've lost through this bloody telephone call so i've gone to the draw so let's have a look uh, upstairs and see what it's like from above
ones Did, 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 did you hear the falling bombs? Did, 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 did you ever wonder why we had to run for shelter When the promise of a brave new world unfell beneath the clear blue sky? Blue sky